I want to publicly thank the State Chamber for the kind of work that you have been doing, particularly in the last few years. You have grabbed hold and been willing to dig in to some really tough issues. And the work you have done has helped move this state forward. This leaky bucket document is a tremendous document and this chamber and the folks that worked on it ought to be commended for really great work. I applaud the Chamber of Commerce for coming to the table and representing the business community. The financial crises of the last few years have left Kentucky families and businesses struggling to survive. Kentucky's unemployment rate hit 12% in April. Countless businesses shut their doors. And our state government needed to find more than a billion dollars to fix a budget shortfall. But the last 12 months also saw glimmers of an economic recovery on the horizon. This year, the Kentucky Chamber set its sights on those positive economic indicators and created a policy agenda that would position Kentucky and its businesses to be ready for the recovery. After more than a year of research on Kentucky's spending priorities and countless discussions with the top business minds across the Commonwealth, the Chamber created the Leaky Bucket Report. The report called for state government to focus on spending reform before calling for new or more taxes and pointed to three main areas that, if addressed, would save millions. The Leaky Bucket program was, I guess, one of the most effective tools I've seen for influencing legislative policy here in Kentucky. I can only wish that back when I was budget director, the chamber had undertaken a similar uh, program because I think it was extremely effective, largely because the chamber and its staff had done their homework and they were able to bring to bear uh, on some very significant uh, issues of appropriations and revenue some genuinely insightful facts things that policy makers and the people as a whole need to understand better. It took a special legislative session, but when the budget passed, it was obvious that the governor and state legislators had seen the logic of spending reform. A number of negative tax proposals had been replaced with common sense spending reductions that will help the long-term sustainability of the state. We're very proud of the leaky bucket message and truly believe it has changed the dialogue in Frankfurt. And there's a lot more work to be done, but we think we're off to a great start. Our state leaders also listened to recommendations for addressing the deficit in the Unemployment Insurance Fund. The unemployment insurance situation, because of the national recession, has been a problem that all states have had to deal with. In Kentucky, we chose to bring together business leaders, labor leaders, and legislators. I'm proud to speak on behalf of more than 90,000 employers in this state who are all affected by the legislation that's being proposed today. I think it was a positive move. I think that everyone in this state, every business owner in this state, whether they belong to the Chamber of Commerce or not, should be thankful for the efforts of this organization. It was a good compromise bill. I think everybody should get a pat on the back for it. The reform proposal passed, a huge step toward returning the system to solvency, while saving employers hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes and interest. Additional legislative successes our chamber community enjoyed this year include the passing of House Bill 160, which will make it easier for college students to transfer college credits, the addition of funding for smoking cessation programs for Medicaid recipients, a proposal for state employee pension reform. I don't think even the most casual observer could have failed to notice how profound and positive was the effect the uh, Kentucky Chamber had on this last legislative session. They helped the General Assembly adopt a fiscally responsible budget this year, and I think the Chamber distinguished itself in this last session, perhaps more than many others, as the principal business spokesperson that is the most articulate and influential force for business interests in the state of Kentucky. This year, the Chamber also opened a new front door to Frankfurt. We recently had a ribbon cutting introducing our new corporate headquarters in Frankfurt, Kentucky. We believe that this will be an opportunity for us to bring businesses from all across the state into our headquarters and use it 
but more importantly, it's symbolic of the economic recovery, which we are beginning to see all across the state. Thanks to the generous support of member pledges, we broke ground and completed a 70% expansion to the Kentucky Chamber headquarters that includes state-of-the-art video conferencing capabilities and expanded meeting facilities. This year has been a great year for the Chamber with meaningful results for our members. But we couldn't do it without your support, your time, and your investment in the Chamber. I'm looking forward to the next few years because the economy's gonna get better, the Chamber's gonna get stronger, and we're gonna make Kentucky a better place to live and work. Thank you.